We'll start by making an ester. Esters are formed by the reaction of an alkanoic acid with an alkanol, or alcohol, in the presence of a catalyst, in this case, a strong acid. The process is called esterification. We're going to react ethanoic acid with one butanol, using concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst to form the ester, butyl ethanoid. This is the chemical reaction. Ethanoic acid, or acetic acid, plus one butanol gives us the product butyl ethanoid. So looking at the structural formula, we can see how the ester is formed. So esters contain this basic structural unit. To begin, we measure out 7.5 milliliters of butanol. We pour our butanol into the flask, then we add 9 milliliters of ethanoic acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid is our catalyst. We add one milliliter. Now we connect our flask to a reflux condenser and put it on a hot plate. The purpose of the reflux condenser is so that any volatile material that evaporates as it heats rises into the condenser where it is cooled down and runs back into the flask. That way we don't lose any material. It is called heating under reflux. It allows the reaction to take place at a higher temperature than would otherwise be possible. The boiling chips placed in the flask prevent superheating, which would lead to explosive bursts of bubbling as the temperature rises. Our reaction mixture is boiling and the reflux condenser is working efficiently. This is boiled for 40 minutes, then cooled to room temperature. Our reaction mixture has now cooled. What we have to do now is to extract our ester from the remnants of the reactants. First we pour it into 20 milliliters of water in a separating funnel. Now we need to swirl it around. What we're doing now is using the fact that both of the reactants are soluble in water, the butanol and the ethanoic acid. Whereas the ester, butyl ethanoate, is insoluble, so it forms two layers. The excess reactants dissolve in water. Our ester, the butyl ethanoate, is less dense than water, so it floats on top. The aqueous layer is at the bottom, so we can carefully run it off. We watch the interface between the two liquids and stop when the aqueous layer has been drained off. So what we're left with is the separated organic layer. Now we slowly add 10 milliliters of sodium carbonate solution and shake this gently. This dissolves any sulfuric acid or ethanoic acid left in the ester layer and takes any sulfate or ethanoate ions into an aqueous layer.
Again, we drain the aqueous layer carefully. We discard the aqueous layer and collect the ester in a clean flask. Because our ester has been shaken with aqueous solutions, it has some water dissolved in it. So now we need to get rid of this water in the ester before we do our final distillation. We remove the water by adding dried magnesium sulfate. We need to let this stand for about 10 minutes so that the magnesium sulfate will absorb any water. Once this is done, we can filter off the magnesium sulfate and collect the ester. We're filtering this into a round bottom flask because the last step of our process is to distill the ester to get it pure. We assemble our glassware and make sure there is a tight fit. Put the thermometer in. It will indicate when we are at the correct temperature to collect the desired distillation products. The connection to the condenser is checked. The cooling water through the plastic tubes to our condenser is turned on and this is how our distillation apparatus should look. Our product at the moment is slightly colored, whereas pure butyl ethanoate is colorless. So heat is applied, and as the solution boils, the vapor rises. These early products coming off at 117 degrees Celsius are cooled down in the condenser tube and collected at the end. The first few drops that come across are impure because the temperature was too low, so we'll discard them. Once the temperature reaches 124 degrees Celsius, we'll start collecting it, because that's our pure butyl ethanoid. We continue to collect the distillation products until most of the liquid in the flask has been distilled. We have to watch that we stop collecting if the temperature rises above 124 degrees Celsius. The liquid before distillation had a slight yellow color, but now the distillate is quite colorless. We have completed our esterification and produced the ester, butyl ethanoate from ethanoic acid, and one butanol.